After anchoring at Rudder Key, we decided to explore the area. David Copperfield owns Musha Key and planted this statue here to amuse not only his resort guests, but also the local fish. The next day we went for an offshore fishing expedition with our buddy boat Jenna Bird. It was fun being on the monohole again. Alright. Okay, Dan has been doing all of the gutting so far, so I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, I think so. Tiny fish. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. It's our beer bread. It looks yummy. Ooh, what are we eating? We're eating fresh bread. And it turned out great. With only a little bit of butter. Thank you, solar cooker. <laughs> Our next hop was a short sail to Lee Stocking Island. We found a conch with a very pretty shell. So, this is one we prepared earlier. It's been in the freezer for about 20 hours. We're gonna throw him in some warm water to thaw him out and then see if we can um, suggest that he comes out. After coercing the weird slimy snail out of its shell, we unskillfully cut off all the brown bits. It's a good conch. I put butter in it. <laughs> With full bellies, we headed to the remains of the Marine Research Center at Lee Stocking Island. Funding for the center ended in 2012, and it seems that the occupants left abruptly, leaving behind an eerie ghost town feel. Several pieces of equipment still remain, as well as filing cabinets full of research papers. Though the plants are slowly taking over, most of the houses were still in surprisingly good condition given the harshness of the tropical climate in the Bahamas. The area is also a haven for coconuts ripe for the picking. That night, the kitties enjoyed our fishing catch. Perry's Peak is the highest point in the Exumas, and it shows the contrasting colour between the banks and the sound. After our hike, we needed some refreshments.
not water. Man, it's good for your daughter. Broke for got a lot of iron. Makes you strong like a lion. A lady tell me the other day, no one can take the sweet man away. I asked her what was the mystery. She said, coconut water and a rice curry. You can cook it in a pot. You can serve it very hot. Broke for got a lot of iron. Makes you strong like a lion. For those of you who have been in the Bahamas and use Navionics, you know how inaccurate it is. We have been going over super shallow water. Uh, of course, we traveled today at low-ish tide, so we had even more shallow water. And when we get to our draft, our rudders start to kick off. So you can see both of our rudders have actually come up, and that's when we know we're really, really shallow. <laughs> but uh, we love our gem. She did well, and she got through it and we're anchored. We anchored in Baratera, a small settlement in the northern part of Great Exuma. Moments after we anchored, a propane truck serendipitously drove up to the dock and we took the opportunity to fill up our empty tank. The community also has a small gas station and we filled up our gas tank for the dinghy. The people in Baratera were warm and welcoming and invited us to a Valentine's Day dinner at the local restaurant, same old place. Another successful loaf of bread from our solar oven. We're going to try and make some compound butter and hopefully have garlic bread. Greg's drinking a giant cappuccino. <laughs> a nice gentleman drove us to his farm to pick some vegetables. So we got some tomatoes, a few bags, and a cabbage. Greg pulled the cabbage out. It was huge. Aki, what are you working on? Thanks to everyone who subscribed to our channel and shared our videos. We really appreciate your support. We're currently in Cat Island and you can follow our journey on our live map, link in the description. As always, we appreciate any feedback. Thanks for watching.